Russians have entered the city. The war has begun. Rainy, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you. And congratulations on your yes. Academy Award. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a real honor. Can you take us through the events that brought about 20 Days in Mariupol and how it came to be produced as a cinematic film? Right, it's a great story. So, you know, of course, the reporters who were in Mariupol at the time were the last journalists who were there during the siege of Mariupol in the beginning of the war of Ukraine. And so they were there and they were filming. And we started to see images. You know, we all saw the maternity ward images, right? It was really dramatic and, and heartbreaking. And then we were in a partnership with the Associated Press and they told us, you know, Ashley, the team had escaped and you see that in the documentary and that they had probably close to 34 hours of footage. And so I got to meet the, the reporter right away after he got out of Mariupol and that started a conversation that led to 20 Days in Mariupol. What was it that you saw in the film, the footage that made you feel like I'm gonna bet on this film? I mean, first of all, you know, when we were watching the news come out of Mariupol, we knew it was a dramatic moment and we knew that the images were searing. What we didn't know is that Mrs. Sharanov, the director, had already been thinking, you know, this should be a documentary. So he had filmed it as such. He was starting to film the streets differently. And he talks about this, but you can see how the footage changes from the beginning of his time in Mariupol to the end where he starts to think about the sequences and the people. And that's what we saw in his footage. We saw so many moments that were documentary moments. There's one moment with a father who's crying over his son, 16 year old son who's just been killed playing soccer outside. And that moment for me as a mother of a 16 year old boy at the time, who's also an athlete, that spoke to me in a way that so transcended the geographic boundaries between Ukraine and where I was watching it in Boston that I thought to myself, that's a documentary. Those moments lead us to seeing what we saw, which is a cinematic story. In the documentary, we understand that, that Chernoff was filming constantly. And during that filming, we would see citizens yelling at him. Talk to us about that. And at what point is it, is the journalism changing because of that? Right, I mean, first of all, we chose to keep those moments and Mrs. Lav himself really wanted the moments that people were angry as he was filming it, also the moments where they thanked him for filming. And that's really what happened to him is both experiences, people begging him to tell their stories, but also people frustrated. You know, why are you filming this? Can't you do more than film? And I think for all of us as journalists, you know, that's the question you're asking as you're filming or reporting on something is, is this enough? And I think in this case, because they were the last journalists, the most important thing they could have done is document what they were seeing on the ground so that we have it for today and obviously for history. They were able to document something, otherwise we'd have no idea what happened there. And you mentioned history. And this film, in many ways, is a first. And as Chernoff said in his acceptance speech, this is a first for Ukraine. And even President uh, Zelensky talked about this on Twitter. What does that mean to you? Well, I mean, hearing him say it, I knew, right, that this would be the first documentary or literally first Oscar for Ukraine, right, for a Ukrainian filmmaker. I didn't understand the gravity of that until I was on stage and he said those words because we had just won. And hearing the crowd respond, the crowd was so supportive of Mrs. in that moment was nothing short of extraordinary because you felt this collective cheer for him that this was a moment for Ukraine, it was a moment for him, but it was a moment for everyone and it was just extraordinary. Do you feel that you, your team, and Mrs. Love Chernov accomplished what you wanted to accomplish in making this film? Well, I mean, I don't think we could have ever imagined that we'd win an Oscar. And I think to us in the public media space, those of us who don't have big marketing budgets, those of us who don't have advertising budgets, right, that we were acknowledged in this way is a big win for public media because it says that together, when we stand together as a public media system behind a film, with the journalists and the leadership at the Associated Press, that that can equal success is something that we never could have imagined. And it's just wonderful when you think of pathways in the future, that we can, we can actually create pathways 
for really important journalism and really important films together. Very important storytelling. Thank you so very much, Rainey. Thank you for having me.